it's Cheryl here, brand strategist and graphic designer behind Made on Sunday Studio, an inspired and relaxing studio space for all things branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship. Now, I work with a lot of female entrepreneurs to not only create their branding, but sometimes to create Canva templates for them to use in future branded graphics. Now, one of the questions that come up super often is why their Canva templates look amazing on Canva, but then when they get to exporting it and uploading it onto Instagram, it turns out blurry. Now I have a couple of quick fixes for you today to make sure that all of your Canva Instagram graphics are crisp and clear every single time. So let's dive into my computer and let's do it together. All right, so today we're going to start by using um, an Instagram template that's available on my Made on Sundays Etsy shop. Uh, just as an example of creating an Instagram post. So first things first, to make sure that your Canva graphics are not blurry for Instagram posts, we are going to make sure that we are using the correct dimensions. Now when you are creating a new design, just make sure to go into the Canva templates and click on Instagram posts and it should be a dimension of 1080, 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. So that's the number one thing. When you're creating any graphic for social media, ensure that you are using the correct dimensions. And if you're just not sure if you're using the correct dimensions, uh, just go to either uh, the Instagram website or Facebook website or whichever social media platform you're using to make sure that you, you are using the latest dimensions uh, of that social media platform. Number two, Make sure that you are using high definition photos in your graphics. Now, let's just say we're going to change the graphic of uh, the photo that's in this placeholder right here. I'm just going to go into my brand photography. Now, if you can uh, use your own brand photography, high definition photos, I highly recommend doing that. You're going to make sure that you are using the highest quality photos for your graphics. But if not, you are downloading some images, let's say stock photography on the internet. Just make sure that you are downloading the highest quality image that you can. This really makes a huge difference in terms of um, how clear your Instagram posts are going to be. Number three, make sure that you are saving in the correct file format. So in order to save uh, this Instagram post, you need to go to download up top. And I highly recommend to always save all of your social media graphics in PNG format and not in JPEG. Uh, JPEG are just going to be smaller file formats and a lot of times they are going to end up being blurry. So make sure it is in PNG and then you can uh, download away. Just click on download and it should be perfect. Number four, I personally actually download my Instagram posts in double the size. <laughs> so if you have Canva Pro, you can easily go to download and right under the file type, you'll see size right here. And this, if you scroll it over, you're going to be able to download in 1.5 times uh, the dimensions. And this changes uh, the pixels to times 1.5. I actually like to do it two times uh, myself. Most of the time, 1.5 times is good, two times is best for me, and I download it. It's a way bigger file format, but it ensures that all of my Instagram post graphics are crisp and clear. Um, but if you don't have Canva Pro, you can actually create a custom graphic in this dimension right here. You can either use uh, 1620 by 1620 or 2160 by 2160 and just create a custom graphic uh, dimensions on Canva and then you can create your 
uh, Instagram posts with those new dimensions and save again in PNG file format. This is the last option if you create it in 1080 by 1080 with high definition photos and it's still blurry, then go ahead and double the dimensions and hopefully that will solve your blurry Instagram post graphic problems. And that is how you ensure all of your Canva Instagram graphics are crisp and clear every single time. I hope you liked the video and found it helpful. And if you did, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more video tutorials like this. I cover on topics all about branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship. So if there are any future video topics that you are looking for, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you have a lovely day and see you in the next video.